Hey guys, this is the second last Halloween tutorial. Oh my god, I just can't believe that it's almost already over and when I'm filming this it hasn't even started yet. So this is past me talking to future you saying I really hope you guys enjoy these videos. I hope that you've loved them all. I hope they're doing well. Um, and yeah, I have just had the most fun time doing this, creating these things. Um, I feel like this year has been really amazing. Um, in the way of like my channel and my growth and all that kind of stuff so um, I'm going to announce it now that I'm going to be posting every single day next year on my YouTube channel I'm going to try and post 365 videos next year um, <laughs> I don't know if it'll be possible but I'm going to try my hardest and next like next Halloween is gonna be so much better than this Halloween like I know this Halloween isn't even over and I'm already saying that but like I just want you guys to know that I have so many ideas flowing and I'm just so excited I feel like I'm in a really good creative space I feel like <laughs> I don't know I just feel so happy and so excited but anyway to get into today's video I'm going to be doing like an Alice in Wonderland kind of inspired thing um, I'm gonna be doing like this is inspired by Powerpuff Monique or Monique or something I don't know how to say her name but she doesn't use her account anymore. Last time she posted was February, but anyway, she's done this like look where she's got like the cards stuck in her head. So I'm gonna do that, and then I've got my Alice in Wonderland costume. So yeah, <sighs> I'm excited. Okay, so today, today, I'm just gonna quickly bright my eyes. I haven't done that yet. I've just done my brows off camera. Um, that's pretty standard. I've just used the Chi Chi brow pomade, the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, and I also used the. Anastasia clear brow gel. So yeah, that's what my eyebrows are today. So I'm not gonna do too much to the eyes today I'm gonna keep it kind of simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this BH Cosmetics Diamond Dazzler. This one is in the shade Brilliant. And it's like this kind of pinky rose goldy Kind of color. I don't know. It's really really pretty though. And what I'm going to do Is I'm just gonna wet my brush because they work a bit better when they're wet and I'm just going to Pat this all over the lid. So I'm just gonna do something like that. I didn't really want to do any eyeshadow today, but I wanted something like on the lid, you know. I really like these things, they are so cool. The um BH Diamond Dazzlers, they're so pretty. And because it's BH, they're super cheap as well. Okay, so now that I've got that on, I'm just going to, um, oh, I'm going to take like a, just a brush. And just kind of like blend it out a little bit at the edge so it doesn't look so rough, I guess. I'm just using my finger to kind of like spread it out a little bit so that we've kind of got glitter going all over the lid but not too intense. Then I'm just going to take my NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner and just do a wing. I don't want anything too crazy. Just like that. I'll do the same over the other side. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just quickly go off camera, chuck on some lashes. Um, I just don't want to waste time doing that on camera. But yeah, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I have my lashes on now. I used the Savannah Rose Cosmetics lashes in Salty. Um, so, you have see that I've got this thing on my face and I'm really sorry that I didn't do it on camera. Um, I've been trying out Synwax and I found it a little bit hard to use. So I didn't want to spend too much time on camera doing it, having it muck up, having to redo it and all that kind of stuff. Um, I know I did say at the start of this series that I wanted you to be able to find every single thing in the video and I'm really sorry that isn't the case with this one. I did use Synwax um, in my Joker makeup tutorial. So if you would like to see how I used it then you can go over there and watch that. But basically what I did is I just, um, Synwax comes like this, it's like super hard. So I just use my scissors to scrape it out. Then I just stuck it um, on my head, molded it to the shape that I want. I do find it quite hard to use. Um, it has a really awesome effect, but it's just, you know, a learning curve, obviously. 
um, and then I just stuck some liquid latex over it, waited for it to dry, and then I've just kind of split it through the middle, pretty much. Um, ow, okay, I've got liquid latex stuck to my head. Gross. Okay, so yeah, this is where the cards are going to slot in, in the little holes in there. So now it's time to do my face and foundation and everything. Okay, so today I'm taking the Becca First Light Priming Filter. Just to prime. If I can get it out. Come on. Commonwealth Bank went down yesterday, so I still haven't received my pay. Um, honestly, though, I feel so bad for them because the amount of hate and stuff they copped. I mean, I know it's inconvenient, obviously, but you know, it's not like as if Commonwealth would choose to do that or choose to have technical issues, you know. It's just one of those things that's kind of like part and parcel. It's going to happen to every bank at one point or another. I'm sure you've been at work where something has gone wrong. I know when I worked at KFC, we had power outages and stuff. Um, when I worked at the cinema, I think there was a few times where like there was no sound and stuff like that. Um, my work now, I work at a um, dentist and sometimes the system goes down. It's, there's just nothing you can do. Um, so it's kind of disappointing when you hear people, you know, saying things and trying to blame Commonwealth and stuff. Like, I mean, I know it's inconvenient, so, so inconvenient, but it's not their fault and mouthing off at them isn't going to do anything. It's not going to resolve the issue. Um, they have the Commonwealth Bank that I actually go to, um, has a little sign on the wall and it says our people are people too so please be kind and I think that's such a awesome message. I'm going in with my Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation. Mine is in the shade Vanilla. But yeah, um, I saw a post from someone this morning being like, I'm gonna move banks, like Commonwealth can go like F itself and I'm just like, yeah, you're right. Like, Commonwealth definitely made it go down on purpose because they totally would have wanted to annoy all of their customers and lose heaps of money. Like, Commonwealth, of course they did it on purpose. Like, I feel like people sometimes forget the way that the world works. You know? But anyway, all I can say is I'm glad that the branch has closed because a lot of, um, the I mean, if you live in Australia, you probably know, but a lot of the branches were closed because there was nothing they could do. So obviously they kind of just sent them home, which I am honestly so glad, like grateful for, because you could imagine the amount of abuse that the staff members would have copped if they had to stay at work and have people come in and all that kind of stuff. Like, if you are one of those people who want to take it out on the workers, please just remember that there is literally nothing that they could do. Okay, so you can see the, oh, a little bit better now. So I'm just going to conceal with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. No, it's not, it's a Conceal and Hydrate, sorry. Got confused. Bum, 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 bum. My insurance is actually meant to come out today, so I'm hoping my pay does go in soon, but like, it's no biggie, I guess. Um, I feel like all the, um, big companies and stuff would have to be aware of the issue. I mean, obviously it was a pretty big one, so, um, I think it should just take me into minus anyway. I'm pretty sure my pay is like in there, but you just can't see it or something. Like, I don't really know how, how it works, but I'm sure I'd win. So, just setting the concealer with my Laura Mercier powder. I'm just going through this quite quickly because um, everyone's going to have different products to set this. This part is just kind of like normal makeup, whatever you'd use for, you know, your kind of average routine. Then to set the rest of my face, I'm going in with the, oh, whoops, with the BH Cosmetics uh, Studio matte finish what is it called shoe yeah matte finish pressed powder in the shade 230 i really like this powder it's uh 
Reminds me of my Mac one. Um, I don't know if I should do bronzer. I feel like I might. Just because Alice is quite pretty, hey? I kind of want this to look as realistic as possible. So I'm just going to... Chuck some bronzer around a wound, I guess. I know Alice is quite pale, but it's not really like an Alice tutorial. It's kind of like inspired by Alice, but you know, it's not like exactly her. This is just kind of my take on things, I guess. For highlight, I'm going to jump into the Soif X Revolution palette. Um, I don't know what colour to use. Maybe this one? Oh, whoopsies. I didn't realise that was so icy. Okay, I might have to go over that. Okay, let's get on to this wound. So the very first thing I'm going to do is jump into my Maroon palette. Um, and I'm going to jump into the red of the palette. Okay, so I'm just going to jump into the red and I'm just going to... I'm going to have to mix this with a bit of black get a bit of colour actually so yeah I'll just mix that with a bit of black and you can just see it makes a much better like bloody colour This doesn't have to be perfect either, obviously. Now, I'm going to chop up my little cards. Um, I think I might do two red and one black. So, let me first see how I'm gonna... gonna chop it like... It kinda needs to sit like that, hey? So I might kinda sit it back behind the red, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna grab... A little bit of liquid latex. Sit it in there. Liquid latex dries clear, so it's okay. So I'm gonna kind of sit it like that. And just stick liquid latex all over it. That kind of thing. And do a black one in the middle. So I've just kind of cut it like kind of curved. Whoops, I cut this one way too curved. So I can sit that one kind of like that. And then the last one like that. Okay, so I might just let those dry first before do anything else. Bum bum. I'm gonna take a bit of a splatter blood. And I'll add some other blood soon. Okay, now I'm going into the black of the Maroon palette. And I'm going to draw like... A triangle thing under my eyes. a lot better than my one. She did like the little ones up here as well but I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that because of this side. And she also drew drew little hearts but I can't draw hearts so I might just have to leave it like this. Oh, that's not stuck down probably. Okay I might just leave it like that. Um, I'm gonna go into my other blood, my stage blood. So messy. I feel like that 
what you do for blood though. Ba -da -da. This is why I can't do special effects because I just make the biggest mess. Do you think I should do red lips or black lips? Or do it look cooler? I feel like black will look cool, right? Let's do black. I'm gonna use um, a shade Latex by Ari Cosmetics. We should have a black lip liner. Okay. Looks great, I think. All right, let me show you my costume. Okay, so this is my costume here. So I'm gonna go off camera and put it on. And I'm also gonna put on my blonde wig. So yeah, I'll put that on and then I'll be back. Okay, this is the finished look. This is my costume. Um, there will be photos of it up on Instagram. So don't worry, you'll get a better look then. I couldn't for the life of me get my wig on properly because of the cards and I don't wanna muck them up, so. Yeah, and then this is my little hat, but it won't really fit because of my wig. But anyway, this is the finished costume. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I can't believe we're almost finished, but yeah, I really hope you guys have been enjoying the series. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.